For today's session, I tutored a third grader on the subject math on the topic quadrilaterals. So quadrilaterals, I said, are four-sided polygons. Some quadrilaterals are probably quite familiar to you, I said. So let's see, for example, squares and rectangles. I highlighted the importance that a unique property of a quadrilateral is that the sum, the sum of all their interior, interior angles always totals to 360 degrees. So I said, let's check out some types of quadrilaterals. For example, a rectangle. A rectangle is a quadrilateral where all four angles are 90 degrees. A square is a special type of rectangle where all four sides are the same length. Now, a parallelogram. Parallelogram is when both opposing pairs of sides on a quadrilateral are parallel. Squares and rectangles are also parallelograms. A rhombus. A rhombus is a quadrilateral as well, as well, where all four sides have the same length. A square, for example, is a rhombus. But not all rhombuses are squares. For example, a trapezoid. A trapezoid is when there, there's only one pair of opposing parallel sides. So I said, see the picture? An isosceles trapezoid is a trapezoid where the non-parallel sides are of equal length and has a line of symmetry down in the middle. And then in the end of the session, I gave the student a small quiz based on what we reviewed, like all of these. I drew squares, rectangles, as well as like a rhombus, trapezoid, asking them questions that we had reviewed here. And that was it.